and welcome to Mile High Reefers. I'm Scott Anderson, and this is our new leopard wrasse, or vermiculate wrasse. Now, I have been putting off getting a leopard wrasse for a long time. These guys are really difficult to get to eat. So I've never purchased one because finding one that was eating has always been difficult. Well, this weekend, my wife went to the fish crew in Fort Collins and saw this little lady. And she asked to see if it would eat, and it ate. So she had to purchase it. This wrasse is eating the Nano V Soft Freeze Mini Mice Shrimp. And we bought the exact same mice shrimp that this fish was eating at the store. The idea being if it's eating it at the store, it'll eat it when we get home. I wanted to be able to feed it exactly what it was already eating. I didn't want to come home and try to get it used to my LRS foods and all that kind of stuff. The goal is to get it onto the LRS foods, but for the time being, I'm going to let this little lady enjoy the foods that she currently likes and start picking at the Kobe pods and everything that lives on the live rock in the tank and start getting adjusted to the foods that I am currently feeding. Now, this fish is in our 24 gallon JBJ Nano Cube, and eventually it's going to have to come out of this tank as it'll get too big for a 24 gallon tank. Long term, this thing needs something 50 gallons minimum and the 210 will be wonderful for it in the future. The tank mates in this 24 gallon tank are very docile. It'll be really easy for this fish to find enough food and eat at its own pace. There's a cowfish in there, a blenny, and a yellow clown goby. So this is gonna be a perfect environment for this fish to get used to the prepared foods that I feed. And I will also be feeding the mini mice shrimp. Now, my wife decided not to quarantine this fish. There are risks to quarantining and there are risks to not quarantining. A leopard wrasse is an expert only fish. It really needs the pods in the tank that it can pick at. And it also needs a really fine sand bed that it can dig itself in and burrow into at night. So we decided that the best option for this fish was to put it directly in the tank. Now, wrasses have a much lower chance of bringing ick or marine velvet into the tank. So our hope is that it is parasite free. That being said, my wife did give her a freshwater bath before putting her into the aquarium. So hopefully this will help get rid of any parasites or flukes or anything else that could be on the fish. The hardest part of keeping a leopard wrasse is getting it to eat. And I think we're over that hurdle. So if you want to see how this fish does in the future, subscribe to my channel and like my video and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.